creating a slab or plate in diamonds starts with drawing or importing the outlines. So these are the border lines or the contour lines of the plate. Any contour shape is possible. Assuming you have created or imported the outlines of your structure, for example the first floor of a building, you would want to add slabs and plates now. Slabs and plates can be created with the create surface icon. This function only turns active when two requirements are fulfilled. The first requirement is that you need to select a closed contour. So this is very easy. And the second requirement is that the contour lines need to lie in the same plane. This can be verified, for example, by going to a front view. Here you can clearly see that all the lines are indeed on the same level and in the same plane. Having selected the contour, you can now click the Create Surface icon. When there are several closed contours available, Diamonds assigns a slab or a plate to each contour. By default, the plates will have a thickness of 20 cm and the concrete material. You can easily modify the thickness and the material properties by double-clicking the plate. In this dialog window, you can change the name, the shape, the thickness and the material. Or you could select multiple plates and then use the Define Surface Properties button. This is basically the same window as before, but all the changes made in here will apply to the selected plates. If you want to create an opening in a slab or in a plate, just select a little plate within a closed contour of the big plate and hit delete. You can also draw the shape of the opening. When a closed contour is made within a plate, it becomes automatically a new plate. This new plate is selectable and you can delete it. If you want to make a plate out of the opening again, double click the opening and give it a name, shape, material to make it a normal plate again. Plates can be horizontal as shown over here, but they can also be vertical. or in every angle possible. If you need to define a curved or a complex surface, you would want to divide it into triangles, because it's the best way to create a reliable geometry model. Remember that a plane is uniquely determined by three points only. If you would use squares instead of triangles, you are not sure that the fourth corner of the square lies within the plate, potentially leading to a less reliable geometry model and unexpected results. The corner points of each tri triangle are perfect for creating a good geometry model.